Guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how the fish keeping hobby is updating to the 21st century. <laughs> Buying fish is becoming completely different. A lot of times people buy fish online or you could do the traditional route and go to your local fish store and buy what's there. One of my local fish stores has partnered up with the local wholesalers where you can actually order fish online and pick up in the store that week when they go to pick up fish. So they'll literally directly get fish for you specifically. So I got a fish that is super cool, super sick, and you gotta stay to the end of the video to see what I picked up. Now guys, excuse me for my allergies, but my nose is all stuffed up. Uh, but this fish will actually be going into my five gallon nano tank that I currently have upstairs in my bedroom. I don't wanna have to have that fish upstairs in my room because it might require a little bit extra care when it comes to actual feeding. So what I'm gonna do is move this beta tank upstairs to my bedroom and we're going to take this five gallon nano tank and put it onto the bar we're going to take all the nano fish out of this tank and put them into my 29 gallon they'll all do fine in there the 29 gallons of community setup so they'll all be good to go in there i'm like running out of breath talking <laughs> i can't uh. Guys, we just got back from the fish store. This fish is super cool. Definitely excited to show you guys the fish. But before we go ahead and do so, let me show you how the fish are doing that were just moved. So it's actually been three days since the move. The beta tank is now on top of my dresser in my bedroom. And he's doing pretty well. His name is Obi-Wan Kenobi. He is a platinum beta fish. Uh, he's doing really great in the new spot here. If you did miss my live stream, by the way, where we actually named him, he's Obi-Wan Kenobi because I'm a big time Star Wars fan. Obi-Wan Kenobi is probably one of my favorite characters in Star Wars. And in Star Wars Episode 4, he does have a big white beard. So that's why this one is called Obi-Wan Kenobi. Also, in this tank is a rubber lip pleco. He always hides out behind this big piece of wood over here. It's not that big of a piece of wood because it's a three gallon tank. So again, all the fish in here are doing pretty well. Let's go downstairs and see how the fish that were in the spot in the five gallon are downstairs. These guys are doing pretty well too. Here's one of the quarry doors has brosis. There's some more down over there. Even some Colombian tetras are hanging out back there. Uh, they're not schooling with the rest of the tetras I do have in this tank. Check out the bamboo shrimp hanging out upside down. So all the fish that were moved are doing pretty well. Also, all of the sparkling garamis are hanging out behind the breeder box for the Geophagus Stein Dacry that are in here. Uh, so kind of funny to see that. I think it's because they don't really like the commotion of this tank and everything that's going on. And this is the new five gallon nano tank that is on our bar here in the basement. And there is a puffer fish in here. Now, where is that? There he is. This is a Carni Tendron Loratelli, also known as the Red Eye Pufferfish, or the Red Eye Red Tail Pufferfish, or I think it even sometimes goes by the Red Eye Red Belly Pufferfish. This is a micro pufferfish that is from Asia. Uh, it stays really small. Some sites say that it gets to be about 1.5 inches. Others say about three inches. Uh, so he's currently in this five gallon tank all by himself. I wanted to make sure he was going to be eating right away. So I actually bought some ghost shrimp to put in there, uh, just to ensure that he was going to be eating. Uh, he's already eaten a few of these guys, so he's definitely doing his job. I, for one, don't like live feeding, but when it comes to a fish that is not going to be eating, uh, I definitely want to go ahead and give them any means possible for them to eat. So this guy's hiding out right now. They do occasionally like to be a little reclusive, uh, but when they're out, they're really, you know, shining and, and really being very personable. They're kind of like Steve the Stingray when it comes to personality. Sometimes Steve can be found underneath the sand hiding out and then, you know, moments later be swimming up and on the glass. So definitely kind of would see the same behavior with this puffer fish right here. Overall, I'm super excited about this guy. It's a super cool fish. Also, that service with my new local pet store is super, super cool. Really excited to even use that even more often. I know it's like literally taking the fish hobby to the 21st century. 
Uh, so if you are local on the ground, find me on Instagram. I'll share that link with you. Um, it's a really cool service and I would definitely recommend doing it. You don't have to pay for shipping. Uh, you know, it's, you really just get whichever you want when it comes to, uh, getting the fish. You know, you don't have to go into the store, spend all the time, drive around. You go right to the store, pick out what you got online and it's a pretty good price. But like all the fish that typically go into one tank, I'm open to naming this fish. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, what we should name this guy, if we should even name him. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you are already subscribed. But most importantly, don't forget to fish on.